What's up YouTube? Here is Andrea or Capolo and today I'm going to show you four tips on how to improve your gameplay in uh, Magic Arena and your experience overall. If you at any point like the video, you can please give a thumbs up or subscribe it would really help me out and it would be really appreciated. Also as a reminder, I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv. Uh, link in the description below and let's jump in into the video I think the best tip to actually improve your MTG Arena experience is to use plugins I'm gonna link all of the ones that I use in the description below and I'm using three of them at the same time and I'm gonna explain to you why I use them what are their strengths and best points for them if you would like to see a video with a more detailed run through of all of the plugins or if you know any other plugins that I haven't listed, please comment below. The first plugin that I want to show you guys is the uh, MTG Assistant by Etherab. This is probably the best one to know like what cards you're missing from Metadex and just like some other cool stuff. So here is like the best, uh, it's probably as them to the best collection tracker you see like what's my progress based on air rarity, card color, etc. What's this that? And another thing is to, uh, the meta tab that they have. We can see the meta decks and how many cards I'm missing from my collection to build the deck. And you can see for multiple formats. This is pretty cool for like these aspects. The second plugin that I recommend is the Arena Tutor by Draftsy. This is done by Draft Specialists, they update draft rankings all of the time. It's a nice interface that keeps track of all of your constructed decks, but the strength of this plugin is for the draft. We can join the draft and I can show you what happens. Here is how the draft sim plugin works. It gives you like the pick, it gives a grade, you can then select the card, and then based on this pick, all of the other picks are recommended. This plugin is really smart because it keeps track of what you picked before as a card. And also they update the dra uh, draft rankings pretty often. The last plugin I recommend is the untapped.gg plugin. This is probably the best one to keep track of your stats, to see how the deck performs, how your sideboard, how your deck changes. And also probably the best visuals inside a game your deck uh, your deck list visuals so let's jump into a deck uh, game here i jumped in into a matchup with sparky the bot and as you can see the top gg deck tracker is actually pretty slick and it's the one i recommend the most here is uh, how the untap.gg website looks like here you can see like the statistic of you can filter by current season, previous season, previous and past set. So you can see how your decks are performing. You can see statistics by decks, how the decks are performed. But there's a lot of information about your deck. Like this deck win rates 67%, 2 and 1. Go in here and just like look. How this deck perform like the win rate i play with this seven cyborg changes so it actually shows you what cyborg did you do it's actually really cool to keep track of your game history the second tip is actually really simple it's just restarting your client pretty often even though mtg arena is out of beta there are still memory leaks and also like some performance issues so just like Start your client whenever you can. The third tip that I want to give you is to learn the keyboard shortcuts to actually save time. Click the gear icon here on top and go to gameplay and familiarize yourself with all of the options in this menu. The ones that I use more often is the full control by cl uh, clicking control, the pass turn that is shift and enter. This is really useful because the auto-passing button that you see during the gameplay usually doesn't do what you want to do. So Shift-Enter actually passes the turn 
for us in Magic Online is F6. Also, another one that I use pretty often is if you play uh, Wilderness Reclamation, you want to know about the Float All button. You double press Q pretty quickly, and all of your mana, all of your lands, are gonna tap for mana, so saving you a lot of extra time to actually tapping all of the lands on with the Wilderness Reclamation trigger on the stack. Number four is to tweak your uh, game option according to what cards are in the format and your preferences. It's, it is my current configuration. The thing the most important here, gameplay wise, at least is to the to uncheck the outer order trigger abilities. I lost so many games because this was checked. I don't know what's the default right now, if it has changed to be checked or unchecked, but be sure that this option is unchecked. All the other options besides the one that I mentioned can be changed as you please. I feel like this is what I would go for. There's some that can be unchecked like evergreen keywords reminders, but that's just minor. Just remember, auto order trigger abilities to be unchecked. Last point is a bonus point. I don't think it's actually improving any gameplay experience, but you can personalize your cards as you please. So you can change card styles or sleeves. You can go to deck, click the sleeve here next to the deck box. And you can select between multiple sleeves which one you want to use. For example, we want to play with American flag, we select this one and this as American flag. Other, you have other card styles for the different cards. This is click the card style button here and we can see for Clotis, click here and you can select between styles and if you have foils you can select foils as well. So just personalize if you don't like the card just play with this one or if you like the original art better you can select this one. Just personalize your experience and makes just the ex playing experience more pleasant. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any tips or tricks that I forgot to mention, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content, please drop a like and subscribe, it would really help grow the channel. I usually stream on Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch at 7pm pacific time. Please give me a follow and stop by to say hi. See you all in the next video.